hello everyone thanks for coming out here today we really do appreciate you thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always staying tuned to our channel and uh, remember we're here to keep you updated with the latest and most authentic happenings in our country and um, the one we have today is a breaking news breaking breaking news from Edo State. Um, the person of Obasek, he has given a strong word. He has sent a strong message to those who think they can stop him. We're going to hear that in a moment. But please, before we do, I would just like to give a, a, a simple disclaimer here. We do not support anyone. We're not speaking for or against anyone. All we are here to do is just to update you with the latest news as it comes. So we really do thank you for your continuous um, support. So, and also, if you haven't yet subscribed to us, click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button it really does mean a lot to us we really do appreciate you once again our dear and valued subscribers thank you very much so right let's go straight um, into the main details of what Obaseki has got to say breaking news no man can stop me from returning as a do governor Obaseki fires back Edo state governor Godwin Obaseki says he's confident of returning to power as first man of the state because power comes from God. The governor who disclosed this on Wednesday in an interview on Channel's television breakfast program, Sunrise Daily, noted that he is a man of peace and not a violent person. I'm not a violent person, but I'm confident that the way I go into power is the same way I will return. God gave me power. If he wants me to return, I will continue. No man can stop me. Power comes from God, he said. Obasek is speaking concerning violence during election, said he has always canvassed for peace and believes election should not lead to bloodshed. The governor, who also spoke concerning the political rift within his party, the All Progressive Congress, APC, in Edo State, stated that he is not distracted, adding that his focus is on developing the state. We have always conversed for peace. What are the issues in Edo and what are the issues that cannot be resolved in a democracy? Our concern is to use the resources of the people to develop the state. This shouldn't lead to bloodshed. We will not accept to be cowed and intimidated because some people think that they can manipulate rules and cut corners, he said. When asked if it's not the resources of the people of Edo State that was used for him to become the governor, Obaseki said, I have friends with resources. I worked for eight years behind the scene before I became governor. So all that insinuations about using somebody's resources I became governor on the platform of the party and I'm grateful for it. He expressed confidence that the rule of law will prevail in the forthcoming Edo state election because he is sure that Nigerian's president, Muhammad Buhari, believes in the rule of law and will allow things to be done openly. Obaseki further noted that he's not in contest with anyone, stressing that he's confident of victory. It doesn't matter whether it is direct or indirect primaries, I will win, he said. The National Working Committee of the ruling All Progressive Congress, currently led by the national chairman of the party and former governor of Edo State, Adam Soshomole, had earlier on May 27 announced its decision to adopt direct primary for the coming governorship primaries in the Edo State schedule to hold on June 22nd. So my people, this is um, Obaseki is so confident. I mean, I like that. That is all he needs at this time um, um, to uh, um, uh, um, to build up momentum and um, face the, the the journey ahead, the tax and what is ahead of him, which is the um, the election, the governorship election. And I mean, he's really he's not speaking as though he wants to use force or anything. He just believes that. Um, um, God gives the power. It was God that made it um, possible for him in the first place for him to get into that post. And um, if God wants him to come back, um, he doesn't feel and he doesn't think that anyone can pull him away from there. 
And um, um, he's, he's stated something that there are some situations um, going around that um, um, probably, like we know elections in our, in our country, that they are usually violent just because people want to um, get something. They want to twist things or manipulate things. So it's usually violent, bloodshed and all of that. And even recently, a couple of days ago, some elders in Benin um, City, um, they, they, they raised a concern and wrote to President Mohamed Buhari, um, urging him um, f um, to look into the security issue in uh, those states. I think these elders, they are quite worried and they are concerned looking at the rift between um, Obaseki and Oshomale. They feel that um, when this election comes, um, it's going to be all about bloodshed. It's going to be very violent. And um, Obaseki has stated, he's made it clear that um, he's a man of peace. He doesn't believe in bloodshed. He doesn't believe in violence. In his words, he says, I am not a violent person. I am confident that way, that the way I got into power is the same way I will return. So what he's trying to say in the first place, he did not use violence um, to get um, into the governor's um, government house. And um, he's not going to use violence. So all those people that are insinuating that are calling on President Mohammed Buhari to um, come and look into the security issue that... Um, um, a lot of things are going to go wrong because of this ongoing rift between himself and his once godfather. He's assuring them that he doesn't believe in violence the same way he got into the government house that is the same way he's going to return if god is willing and you know he was quizzed them um, on something else as well that um, um a lot of people have said that um, uh, um it was the people's money that you used that um in getting into um the government house and he cleared the air he stated that he worked his work behind the scene for over eight years and then before he came there and he's got friends hmm he said he's got friends as well, and he will not uh, um, undermine, he will not um, deny the fact that um, the party supported him as well, meaning that um, he was referring to a um, the All Progressive Congress as well, APC, that they supported him, and for that, he's grateful. So what else um, do, do, do they want from him? He's grateful, and he has done what is needed to be done, but it doesn't feel like... Um, this is the time that people, will, uh, they want to rip him open or they want to turn him in another part where he doesn't want to go. And he believes that whether direct or indirect, that um, he's still going to come back. That kind of confidence is wow. You know, um, th there's been a, a tussle of what form of primaries should be uh, should be carried out. And um, some persons have also stated that uh, since Oshomale is part of the executive, he's the national chairman, that he should not be involved in making uh, um, some decisions, the decisions pertaining to this election, because it's going to be biased. And that's quite true as well. You are the national chairman and you are direct you are indirectly involved in the sense that you are fronting a candidate you've got your own candidate the person of um, pastor osage is iyamu and then um, it will not really be nice that you are there there's no way you would want to favor obaseki over is iyamu because that's you guys have a, a a known reef that is it is public is not like he did so i believe that um i neck and um, will look into that and see how um, everything plays out. And uh, I do hope that um, everything is open. One more thing that um, Obaseki was so sure of, he said um, uh, he is confident that President Mohamed Buhari believes in the rule of law. Hmm, that Buhari believes and uh, would allow things to be done openly. You know, this openly we're talking about is a free and fair election. Not when um, the people of Edo State have casted their votes, then they go back and do some other thumb printing and some other pressing and other things. All they know they do as dirty politics. So he believes that um, he has a different opinion about President Mohamed Buhari. I don't know if um, um, Nigerians or Edo lights feel the same way about um, President Mohamed Buhari, but he's sure that um, President Mohamed Buhari will support things and ensure that um, things are done openly my people let's just keep our fingers um, crossed and um, this is just around the corner it's not far from here but we'll do well to update you with all of the latest happenings as they come out um the primaries is just scheduled for um june 22nd and then the, the main election itself it's september hmm we hope um, that a daylight gets what they deserve. So my people, that's the news reaching us at the moment. We do want you to leave your take, leave your comment down below in the comment section. And just to reiterate again, like I said in the start, Peak Network does not support anyone. We are not speaking for 
or against anyone. We're only just giving you the news just as it is. So we do thank you for your continuous and support and um, understanding. So please, um, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, do click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. We really do appreciate you. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.